Hey everybody, this is Jordan Highland again, back at you with another iRacing video. Today I'm going to go over how to run a quick qualifying lap at Chicagoland. Now I do want to make a quick disclaimer. It's been almost nine months since I've actually raced this car. I took some time off to finish my master's degree and uh, while I'm job searching, came back to iRacing for a bit. I haven't actually raced this car this week. I'm trying to ease myself back into it because, you know, it's been nine months since I've touched a track with it. And I don't want to run my safety rating or, uh, you know, run someone else's race. But I uh, did hop into a, a practice session and I was able to match times with some of the quickest qualifying laps of the week. So I wanted to run through this real quick to show you all how to match that time. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to go through the qualifying uh, laps step by step. And I'm going to show you what I'm thinking and the approach I'm taking, you know, like I've, I've done before with a couple videos I've made. And... Uh, after that, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to show you the laps uh, themselves. I will go ahead and keep the uh, the UI up here so you can see my throttle and brake usage, see where I'm get, getting into the throttle and brake, you know, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and start it off here. Uh, we're approaching what would be the uh, the first lap of qualifying. So I, I just hopped into a practice session and I just did some mock qualifying runs and this is my first lap and i am happy to tell you that your first lap doesn't really matter <laughs> uh the tires are still pretty uh pretty cool so you don't have a lot of grip or not as much grip as you would uh, need to lay down a quick lap so really it you know you can kind of give yourself a little leeway and you know there are cars on the track here but not close enough for me to catch track so you're getting a pretty accurate lap here I went ahead and ran the, the high line or the, the middle and high line up here just so I, I can get as big of a run off the turn and carry as much speed into my actual qualifying lap as I could. So that's why you're seeing me run up here and why I'm not really bothering trying to touch the bottom. I'm not sure how other people are uh, coming to the line here on their actual qualifying lap, but I am actually staying above the white line uh, coming to the coming to begin the lap and I'm dipping below to finish the lap because it cuts the track a little bit it makes it a little bit shorter you see I'll get up here against the wall again that maximizes speed I come down right against the white line I'm not coming all the way down because the banking kind of makes things weird and you lose a little bit of speed when you go up and uh, down off the banking so I just avoid that to start the lap I don't want to screw anything up going into turn one but you see here I'm going to come up against the wall I try to just almost kiss the safer barrier. So as you're approaching the safer barrier, you can see right here, I'm starting my turn into the corner right as I get near that. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way down. I'm not using the brake at all. I, I went on and off with this. I think you probably could use a little bit of brake and it wouldn't make much of a difference. But for the sake of this lap, which was my quickest lap, I didn't use the brake. And I'm getting into the throttle just lightly you can see i'm kind of letting off a little bit and that that keeps the tires from spinning uh some of you more experienced people already know that but uh, some of you newer guys uh or girls getting into the arca series for the first time this car uh is pretty sensitive to to the throttle input so if you go straight into the gas <laughs> you're going to spin yourself that's why you see me doing that with the throttle and uh, a mistake I make a lot, and I think a lot of other people probably make, is that you don't give yourself uh, the ability to use all the space here in turn two. The exit of turn two actually is pretty wide, so you can get into the gas uh, pretty early. And you're going to feel like you're going to scrape the wall, but you're not, because it's got that weird little arc to it. So you have just a little bit of space where on a, track, on a typical cookie cutter like Texas or Charlotte, you, you wouldn't have. So you see me, like kind of riding up the track and it looks like I'm gonna smack it but I don't it took me took me several laps to, to get back into that uh, uh, to, to fill that uh, turn two exit so going into turn three uh, mistake uh, another mistake I've made and I'm sure many other people make is arcing uh, the car going into turn three you want to go straight in you want to put the car down against the bottom of the track you're, you're not going to go into the corner like that you're going into the corner so you're going to see me i'm just going to go straight in into the bottom and i'm right back in the gas and again you're going to see me kind of back off the throttle a little bit anytime you anytime you feel the car getting loose you want to just let go a little bit that, that takes away some of that tire spin and keeps you from 
face planting turn the turn four wall. So uh, you see me exit here. I have pretty good speed to get up against the wall, and then I dip it down. I come down right against the yellow line along the grass, and I ran a 30.891. I saw a lot of good qualifying laps uh, in the low nines. Uh, most of the pole runs for this week have been low to mid nine. The quickest lap I did see was an 890. Uh, that was the first uh, split of the week. I didn't look through all of them, though, so someone could have easily beat this. And I'm sure somebody in a practice run like I was in here has probably beat that lap. But anyway, I uh, I just wanted to, to run you through a couple laps here. Well, I mean, a qualifying run at Chicagoland. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you people are going to be looking for it this week, especially some of you newer people trying to figure out how to run the track. And now I'm just going to let you watch for yourself. Again, uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and like. I'll be trying to put one of these out every week, except for the tracks I'm not very good at, because you don't want to take my advice at those tracks.